Hello, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. Today I'm looking at a home to be included in our next online auction. This property is in Greenville, South Carolina. It's at number six, Richburg Court. Now Richburg is just off of Wade Hampton at the Canopy Car Wash. Come up a little piece, turn right, and we're down here on the left-hand end of a cul-de-sac. Real nice, quiet uh, neighborhood, convenient location. I've got an all-brick home, three bedrooms, one and a half baths, hardwood floors, has a full basement with a lot of height in it. You'll be able to finish it out and make it look good, maybe create a lot of extra room for yourself. All right, we're gonna head inside, take a look. I think you'll like this home. The location will sell it. The rest of it's just cosmetics. Okay, as we head in, I just want to show you a few things. That nice wrought iron rail around the front porch. It's a nice mature tree here in the front yard. You know, a little mulching things that'll really dress this property up. I think there's room over here myself for uh, additional carport space if you want to add on. Maybe even go on in the backyard with some concrete to the basement. It could be exciting. This is a good house. We're gonna head in the den door. Here we are. This is a large den. Uh, it's paneled walls. I've got the curtains drawn, but I'm sure it'll lighten up in here if I had to open the, the curtains. Now, this floor is carpet. And I was told that there's like, um, was vinyl down here before. So that's probably what you'll find matches this kitchen area. But this ceiling's in great shape. I think just a coat of paint. If you want to change out the paneling, you can. Some people paint paneling. Some people leave it as is. But I like paneling. I think it's low maintenance. You don't have to paint. Just wash it off. All right, we've got a little small galley kitchen. I'll go right here. Uh, but there's a lot of cabinets and countertop space. It's just a little narrow. It's all. Here's our uh, cabinets there, all the way around. Refrigerator area, stove, room for a dishwasher, I'm sure, if you wanted one. Uh, decorated to your taste. Be fine, the ceiling in here is fine. You know, I'm trying to move a little slower today. They say I move too fast, but um, this make a great little kitchen. You can make some changes to it, move a wall a little bit, take out a little piece. Maybe like this serving window that's behind us. I think you could take it out. All right, and this is the dining area. Looks good. That door over there on the back side, on the left, that is the uh, basement door. We'll go down there shortly. I could see maybe go out that window with a deck on the back. The people next door uh, just put one on, man. It looks nice. It's a very nice deck. Uh, again, the ceilings in here, just nice, slick, no popcorn to take off. And maybe some uh, new flooring. All right, I'm going to move along. We'll finish the upstairs first. Here we go. This is the living room. Um, I'll go over to the front door. I have seen people take out that wall right there that we're looking at before in these houses and make a giant family room. Um, in this room, the uh, ceiling's perfect. Well, not perfect, but I mean it's slick and smooth, just needs paint. I don't think there's any perfect house. And then this is where the hardwood floors are revealed. And we'll find them throughout the house. I, I'm almost positive they're in the hallway. That looks nice. This little bit of furniture, that, that couch, I don't believe it's ever been sat on but one time. All right, we're uh, headed down the hallway now. Uh, plenty of closets here in the hall, two of them, one at the end. They made a bookcase out of that end one. And some cabinets. There is a pull down attic above me. So there's storage in the attic. This is your first bath. It does have a tile floor. But it's in good shape. Let's modernize it a little bit. I think you'll be pleased with it. But this kind of house that uh, if an individual bought it and they want to move in and work on it as they went, 
this is the kind of house you can do that. Clean it up a little bit and just move in and then start on one room at a time. What happens a lot of people, they try to do the whole house and live in it, that's pretty tough. All right, this is our first bedroom. Uh, pretty nice size bedroom. Move around, you can see the uh, double closet here. Again, the hardwood floors. These will finish really pretty, I'm sure. Uh, it's nice and light in here with the windows, walls, ceilings look really good. Not a lot to do to this house, just get it decorated to your taste. This is our uh, second bedroom. Same story here. Personal property is for sale on a separate bidding page. Ceiling looks good. A nice large closet. Has some uh, decent depth to it. Uh, hardwood floors. It's in pretty good shape. You know, just prep these walls. A few places you see where uh, maybe a picture or something was hung or a mirror. And that's to be expected in any house. Paint it to your color and taste, finish the floors, you're ready to go. Not a lot to do. Okay, this is what I'm calling the master. Uh, again, it's a little bit more spacious bedroom. Ceiling looks nice. And another double closet. Over here. And for those midnight emergencies, we do have a half bath, sink, toilet. And again, those, these rooms are in good shape. All right, let's take a few minutes. I'm going to head down to the basement. Okay, we're heading down the basement stairs. on a couple of lights. I do want to show you um, they have their laundry over in this area but this is a almost I guess the full length of the house not quite. Um, there is a crawl space over here for your heating and air and with as much rain as we've had and I've been over here several times there's a little dampness on that front wall. Now the gutters were stopped up and I did have those cleaned. And doggone if I didn't let the yard man get away, they didn't clean the back gutters, but they just take a blower and blow them out. I just missed it. And this is uh, your uh, heat and air system in here. So under that little crawl space, that's probably uh, from what I can see under the den. But I want you to notice how high it is in here. I, I should measure it, but you could actually hang a ceiling below the ductwork and still be seven, maybe eight feet tall and walk in this basement real comfortable. You have a nice high ceiling. But just a little dampness on this front wall is all I have seen. Hadn't seen any water pouring in or anything. They've got products to fix that now. And, Probably those gutters would help a lot now that they're cleaned out. But just a really, this is an area that could really add some value to your home. All that good insulation. All right, we're gonna go outside now and look around and finish up our tour. Okay, I'm back out here in front of the house. As you can see, it's all brick. That's a real nice feature. It's wrapped in vinyl. Even a carport uh, ceiling is vinyl. We'll get moving or y'all will get bored. Needs a little cleaning on this end. That's not that difficult. I use a sponge mop when I do it. We have a wooded area. There's a creek on the back. There is a sewer right away through here, but um, it's a gravity flow, I think. Uh, it's down next to the creek, which would be common. This area here probably cleaned out a little bit, opened up the yard some. And here's where uh, 
I let the yard crew get through without cleaning out these gutters, but they just take a blower and trim those few limbs back. There's a little place where the vinyl sagging. That shouldn't be any problem to tack that back up. But it all looks good. Um, here's a nice dogwood or two. Pretty nice tree there. Nice level flat area out there and then over into the creek. I'm not sure exactly where the property line is. We can look on the tax map and see. Now, these are fig bushes. They were growing up against the house. I cut them back. But I think if they were cut down about three or four feet high and tended to, you can have some nice figs or, or just dig them up. If you want to, that'll be up to you. But I did cut them off the house, and uh, but I didn't cut them all the way down because I didn't know where somebody might want to how they might want to cultivate them or tend to them. But it looks real nice. And this could really be fixed up pretty. Okay, and you see the other homes when you come out here, they're really nice. Here we are back around to the front, vinyl and all wrapped good. So low maintenance on the outside with the brick. All right. We finished up here at Six Richburg uh, Court. I hope you found this uh, house as exciting as I did. Uh, three bedroom, one and a half, all brick home with a full basement. Pretty good shape. Just need some cosmetics. Fix it up to suit your taste. All right, it's a open to bidding. It's an online only auction. Sales absolute, regardless of price, to the highest bidder. Just a few things before I leave. I encourage you to come out, inspect it on the inspection day. It'll be open. You can look at it. There's a little personal property in there. You can look at it too while you're at it. You might want to buy some of those furnishings and things. Also, if you're a first time bidder, bid early in the process. While the bidding's low, we start all our houses real reasonable, like $1,000. So you'd pay two. Make sure your bid number works. Make sure you understand how the process works. So at the end, you'll be able to bid without having any problems. And lastly, read that contract package. A lot of information in there. It'll answer a lot of questions that you have. Uh, after reading it, if you need some clarification, don't understand anything, we don't want you confused, give us a call. We'll be glad to go over it just as often as we need to. Uh, our number's at the bottom of the screen, or you can send an email to info at terryhow.com. We have a lot of good auctions uh, coming up, but this is one of the better homes with a good location. I think the location's what's gonna sell this house. Anybody wanna live here? I'm a little prejudiced. I just live out Richburg Road a little piece, so. That has something to do with it, I guess. I hope you found this video helpful. I appreciate you taking time to look at it. Come on out and see me at the home inspection uh, date. I'll be here to, to greet you or somebody will. And remember, one last time, all biddings on the internet, online only. The address to bid and buy is terryhow.com. We'll see you there.